Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, since I never actually like fully introduced myself because, you know, I forget half the time. Um, I'm Ange, aka Keeping Up With AMM if you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug over there. Um, and welcome back to my channel. This is it. Um, yeah, it is 2020 guys. Can you believe this? I'm like actually a little shook right now that it's 2020. I cannot believe we're like, I feel like this year flew flew like whoosh, flew by it's it's insane I, I don't i couldn't even process it by the time it was like the new year i was like whoa hold on <laughs> when did this happen anyways i hope everyone had a great christmas a great holiday a great new year's eve and yeah i am back and ready i am so motivated i feel like always everyone with the new year like everyone gets so motivated but i feel like 2020 is different i feel like everyone in 2020 is like it's going to be like brand new for them. I've known so many people who are like, 2020 is going to be like the year. And I feel like a lot of good things are going to happen in 2020. And I'm so excited to see what it brings to us and to me and to everyone around me and all of you guys. Um, but yeah, so in today's video, we are doing my coat collection. I always get asked like how many coats do I have because every haul I do, there's like at least one coat in it. If it's not cheetah, it's coats. And this, today, we are doing my coat collection. There's a lot. There is a lot, let me tell you. I think, you know, I, I'm trying to gather my thoughts here. As I look at this, I'm like, oh, it's not that much. But then when I go through each and every single one, you guys are going to be like, Andrew, crazy, you want to have that many coats. Listen, let me tell you a funny story. My parents wanted to move to Florida about two years ago. And I literally looked at them and I was like, I'm all down for it, the heat, but like I have 30 plus coats on here. What the hell am I going to do with this? I'm like, I can't just put it in storage and then everyone's like, oh, we can come and visit Jersey. I'm like, but like, there's 30 coats. What? <laughs> Anywho's, yeah, so today I'm going to be going through each and every one of these coats, telling you where I bought them and everything, yeah, and everything, most, some of them are gifted to me some most of them i bought with my own money some i thrifted some are from just regular stores h&m forever 21 you name it nordstrom whatever target um but the ones that are thrifted i'm going to try to find similar ones too and the ones that i bought like a few years back i'm definitely going to try to find similar ones in them but yeah everything as per usual will be linked below and i hope you guys enjoy this video <laughs> This first coat, I purchased this last year on Amazon. It's like a little faux fur. And I, I don't know why it comes up like really orangey on here. But it does have hints of orange. But it's more so um, like a caramelly color. Oh my god, I wish you guys could feel how soft this is. Because it's so, so soft. I love this with like an all black outfit or... I wore this super, actually super casual last year, one of one of my outfits, where it's just like jeans, a white t-shirt, and actually a neon beanie that I saw we wore what wear, so I got a lot of inspo from that outfit, but I thought, I just love this coat. This is so adorable, it's so soft, it literally feels like a blanket, and this is from Amazon, and I want to say it was like 40 bucks, and it came in two other colors, I want to say it was like a pink pinky blushy color and possibly a black but i'm not 100 sure but i'll link this one below and then you could see the other colors from there mm. this is a stuffed shelf okay and the next one honestly this has to be my favorite i recently wore this in a post and i call this my bob wife coat it's like suede oh my god with this faux fur trim and i thrifted this last no, not last year. Over the summer, I fixed this. Yeah, over the summertime, I was looking for cults people. Don't drag me for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is literally my favorite, favorite cult that I think I've thrifted. Well, maybe second favorite, because I thrifted one that you're going to see here that's my favorite, favorite of all times. Um, but yeah, I love the color. I love like the faux fur. Like I said, this is my mob wife coat. This is what I call my mob wife coat. 
and I just absolutely love it. And I think I got it no more, like no less than like 20 bucks. And it's amazing. And it's actually from the brand, if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys could see it, from Delius, way back when. So I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is such a throwback. I need to have this jacket. Like it needs to be in my life. Okay, guys, this, this is my pride and joy. This is probably two years old, this faux fur, but I got it at Target and it's from this brand that they sell at Target. I don't know if you guys could see. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's that like, and, and we weigh something, something like that, that, that brand. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite and has pockets too also. And you know, this would not be a AMM haul if I didn't show a cheetah coat. Honestly, I get so many compliments when I wear this and it's two years old. They did come out with a newer version of this at Target this year. So I definitely will link it. And I've seen this on Amazon and Shein, like this style coat, but this one is from Target and I love it so much. It keeps me so warm. I've honestly worn this with like sweats. Or I've like dressed it up, but it keeps me so warm and it's so cute. I me, mean, come on, look at it. It's cheetah. I'm obsessed. Okay, this next coat is definitely very outside my comfort zone, but I saw it and I was like, why do I need this? Last year, H and M came out with one, and I was like, oh, debated whether or not to get it. I ended up not getting it because I was like, maybe I'm never gonna wear it. Whatever few weeks ago I was at Target and I saw the brand Wild Fable came out with all these like cute little short puffer jackets and this was there for I think I saw the tag on it for $30 and I was like all right I think this is a sign I need to buy but how cute is this this honestly makes me want to go skiing but I only snowed two because I went skiing once and it was not my favorite thing in the world to do it so we don't go skiing anymore but we don't do snow tubing so we are gonna go snow tubing in this this winter and I'm so excited to wear this I feel like with like white snow pants or like black snow pants snow tubing it's gonna be like guys but yeah this is definitely outside of my comfort zone but I love it I'm obsessed with this jacket I almost wanted to get it in white but I was like no I think I need this in silver because this is just like a whole vibe I love it okay and you guys oh things are coming off and you guys saw this, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me talk about this jacket. It is from members only. And they were so kind, they sent me two jackets. I'm gonna show you the other jacket in a little bit. But this is their original like bomber jacket and I love it. I actually don't have any white coats. So this was nice. And yeah, it's really nice, it's warm. It's a little bit longer, which I do like that it's not like a short bomber. And I'm excited to style this. So you guys will be seeing this on my Instagram feed. So keep an eye out and thank you members only for this. Okay, honestly, this is where my teddy coat obsession starts. So this is a white trucker jacket teddy coat. It kind of looks like a denim and it has like the buttons of like a denim jacket, but I, it's called like a, like a trucker jacket and it's creamy shepherd. What is that? Shepherd teddy, whatever that is. Um, I got this at Kohl's not too long ago, maybe like a few weeks ago I got this at Kohl's, but I thought this was so cute. You put like a little black turtleneck underneath or like a caramel colored turtleneck or something nude with like jeans and just sneakers and I love love this and it's actually quite warm like I wore it out once and it was like really warm I was like oh wow for something like that I didn't think was gonna be that warm actually turned out really warm like that makes me happy okay another teddy coat people mm. this is from Shein this is the longer teddy coat Honestly, everyone who sees me in this, I put them onto it because every time I wear it, everyone's like, where's that coat from? And I need it now. When I tell them it's under like $30, they're like, okay, send me the link now because I need it. It's so soft. I even got my mom, my sisters onto it. Like everyone loves it. Who doesn't love this? My sister literally steals my black one that I have to order a new one. Rude. But yeah, this was, this is the second color. I originally have... This is the first one I got was the black version of it. And then this year I purchased the nude caramelly, beigey color, not beigey. This is like brown um, color because I feel like I wore this so much last year that I was like, okay, I need a tan one. And this with just like leggings, a pair of Uggs, you know, listen, girls, I know you're all like, oh, Uggs. No, no, no. I love my Uggs. I truthfully love my Uggs. 
and when it's winter time, I love taking my Uggs out. So this would a pair of Uggs, a crew neck sweater, or even just to dress this up with like, to go out with your girls with a pair of jeans, cute pair of booties. Like I think this is like a great like going out coat. And it's super inexpensive. Like most of the teddy coats I see out there, they range from like anywhere from like 50 to like $100, which I think is ridiculous because it's just a trend and this will go out of style. It's the truth, people. So just spend $30 on two coats on each coat and you just 60 bucks and you bought two coats for the price of almost one so yeah i will definitely link these two below because these are hot and these sell out really quick like i remember i waited two times for the black one and then i purchased this one was like thankfully like right away Ugh. this is such a stuffed rack people you don't understand okay now we're on some puffers this is my h&m puffer i bought this last year and it has like a little bit of quilting detail on it but not too much and it's short but not super short like it comes probably like right up to here on my waist but it has like the elastic bands on the sides that you could make it so it comes like a little bit shorter this is my favorite jacket of all times i love it it keeps me so warm it has pockets which is always a plus with jackets. I hate when jackets make faux pockets. And it's just like, why? Why do you have to do that to me? I know there's pockets. Why do you sew them up? Like, it's just with H&M. You always do that. Stop doing that. But these were actually real pockets. So you can put your stuff in. But this actually also keeps me warm. I've worn it in the city when it's like 30 below zero. And I'm pretty content with it. I really do like it. I'm sad I didn't get it in more colors. But I'm glad I got this in black. Because I wore the crap out of it last year. And I'm excited to bring it out again okay if you guys have seen me within the last few weeks you know i'm obsessed with this nasty gal jacket i bought this on black friday i got it for 46 dollars and it's a long oversized puffer and with it comes with a little tie that you could like kind of cinch your waist in with it but there's no buttons which is the only thing that's kind of annoying but I don't mind that it has no buttons because it has a hood. Come on. I love when jackets think and they put hoods on their jackets. It makes me so happy. It makes me always as happy as when I see pockets with dresses. With dresses with pockets. Oops. <laughs> Listen guys, it's been a long day. Um, but yeah, I really, if you've seen me lately, this is probably the jacket I'm wearing. It looks great with sweats. It looks good dressed up. And it, it is so warm, guys. You do not understand how warm it is. I believe I got a size US 6 and it fits me perfect and I'm 5'2 and it comes to the perfect length I don't look like I'm like swimming in it like it really comes to perfect I just posted an Instagram picture of it a, uh, like a weekish ago and the I wore with like what did I wear with why am I losing my train of thought here with like jeans um, a uh, white shirt with like a red corset it was in my 25 days of holidays this is the jacket that i wore and i'm five two as i said before and it fits me perfect and i had a little bit of a heel on but i will definitely show you guys it more casual because i've worn a casual and i love the way it looks with just like joggers a little white tee like i love 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 i'm seriously obsessed with this and these pockets are huge people look how big these pockets are they're huge and nothing falls out of them Okay, guys, now we're coming Ooh, to my camouflage jackets. Now, I know these look super similar, but one's cut short, and I had this phase where I painted everything all over all of my jackets. So this one has my initials in the back, but it's cut short. It's, like, cropped. And then I just bought this one maybe a few weeks ago at the thrift store, and it's just I haven't done anything to it because I wanted to. And it's a little bit longer, which I'm excited because, you know what, I might do this winter... I'm gonna put stockings underneath and wear it as a dress with like a high turtleneck underneath and like belt it. I think that's gonna look cute and I'm excited for that. But yeah, these are my two camel jackets. This one I bought on Amazon, this one I thrifted, which they're very similar to, but the one I when I before I cut it, it's this length. And it comes up like maybe right covers like a little bit of my butt. But yeah, I love these two jackets. These are great for like spring or like early. Fall. If you live in Jersey, you know what I'm talking about early fall because we have three days of fall. But yeah, I think these are great jackets. I love them. You could really dress them up, dress them down. You could wear them as dresses and I'm so excited to style these again. I haven't seen these. I, I feel like I forgot about them. I was like, 
I took them out and I was like, wow. All right. Now we're going now to my leather jackets. Another fan favorite because this is all I wear is leather jackets. This first one is this little moto jacket. I want to say I got it two years ago from H&M. Barber 21. Um, it's cute. I love it. This is more of like my going out one. Like I won't wear this. Like I've seen girls wear it with like joggers and a t-shirt. This is more of my going out leather jacket. And it's not very warm either. So it's a good like spring or early fall. And I like, I like the silver detail. I like the big collars. So I do love this jacket and all like the zipper te bleh, all the zipper details I really also do love. Okay. This next one is a faux croc one. I bought this during Fashion Week at the Shein pop-up shop. And it's faux croc and it has like kind of puffyish sleeves. Like when you put it on, you'll see like as puffyish sleeves. It has pockets in the front and I'll show you like the material. And it's like a shiny. Ooh, it got really white over there. Um a shiny crop but I do love this I love this with like an all white little outfit or a pair of jeans and like shiny uh, booties like I just think this is such a cute and like staple jacket that if you're wearing something like kind of plain it really like steps up and like levels up your outfit with just like one little thing okay and this is another jacket from members only they're so kind how obsessed are you guys it's another moto jacket, but this one has faux fur on it. And you can actually take off the fur, which I do like. But I don't think I'll ever take it off because I love this jacket. Oh my god, it's such good quality. Like, it's so nice and it feels nice. It doesn't have that weird feeling of like that faux leather. And I'm obsessed, I cannot wait to it. Like, this is probably the jacket that I'll wear more casual. But I could also dress this one up as well. So I'm super, super excited to style this. So you'll also be seeing this one on the brand, guys. All right, two more leather jackets. This one is my favorite leather jacket of all times that I've ever thrifted. I think this has to be my favorite item that I've ever thrifted. I got this, bleh, I got this at the Goodwill last fall when kind of leather trenches were kind of coming back. And I... I put it in my head like, okay, if I find one, I find one. If I don't, I don't. But I found this for $20. It's real leather. And it's seriously amazing. I wore this as a dress. If you followed me on Instagram, you saw. Um, I've worn this out. I wore this for Halloween. It goes with so many things. I couldn't believe how much wear I've gotten out of this jacket. And, like, I just love it. I don't think I'll ever give this one up. Like, this is such a good find. And I want to say it was, like, $25. Maybe $30, but no more than $30, I remember. But this was just like the best. Oh my god, I was so happy when I found this. Like, and it fit me so well, and it kind of like tapers in a little bit when you wear it. And oh my god, I've worn this with sweats. I've worn this dressed up. Like you name it, I've worn this, and I'm obsessed. I'll never give this up. I'm sorry, guys. This is something I'll never sell. Okay, last coat. Well, no, not last coat, but last leather coat. This is another thrifted find. I wanted more of just a regular, more so casual leather jacket that just has a collar and is more plain and simple. And I found this at the thrift store. I think I want to say I got this at Value Village in Hawthorne. If you're from Jersey, it's Value Village in Hawthorne, New Jersey. Um, and yeah, I just wanted something more simple, like something that I could just throw on with jeans or I could throw on with my joggers that doesn't look so motoy and just more looks just like a jacket. And I love it. And it is a little bit oversized, which I liked. Um, but yeah, I really genuinely like this. And I don't know if it's real leather. I couldn't find the tag if it was real leather. But honestly, I love it either way. And I think I know Kitty got this for like $10 at the thrift store. So just to let you know. If you guys are looking for a really good leather jacket, you go to the thrift store. That's it. <laughs> Like, more so those leather jackets that you're not going to find. Like, a leather trench coat or, like, just a plain leather jacket. Like, because the moto jackets are hard to find there. But any other leather jacket, you'll find it there. I'm dying to find, like, a long trench. Because that one kind of only comes up to, like, my knees. But I want to find, like, a long, like, to the ground trench. So that's my next mission. Okay, this is my favorite wool coat from H&M. This is, like, two years old. My dog's barking upstairs. Please ignore that. This is from H&M like two years ago, I think I bought this. And I wore the crap out of it. The crap out of it that year I bought it. 
Um, I definitely have to bring it to the dry clean because there's all my dog's hair on it. But it keeps me so warm. I've worn it in the city. I've layered things underneath it. This is my favorite cone. I think it was like probably 45 to 50 bucks. But it's such good quality. That's why I love it. Because it's good quality. Like it really holds its shape really nicely. Like when I bring it to the dry clean to get all the hair off, like it's still like doesn't like wear, it doesn't tear, and I've literally had this for probably three years. So this is probably one of my really good purchases from H&M. If you want to get a really nice wool coat, you definitely check H&M because they're really nicely tailored. It has like a button right here. It doesn't come too long to me. It comes like a little bit past my knees. Yeah, definitely check H&M. Now we are going to my denim jackets. I have like 400 denim jackets for no reason. Okay. This first one, I want to say I got this at Mandy's like years ago or no, no, no. I think this is Joyce Leslie. If anyone remembers Joyce Leslie, this is where this is purchased. But I'm sure you can get this at H&M. You could probably even check the thrift store. They have a bunch of denim jackets there. It's just a plain black oversized kind of boyfriend denim and it's all distressed. It's cute. I like it when we go out. I'll wear like a tank top underneath. I'll put some chokers. I'll put some like jewel, like gold jewelry. I love this just for like a night out or even in the springtime with like a t-shirt and leggings. Looks great. I honestly, this is a good, and I like that it's a little oversized also. Okay, this is my only plain jacket that I have, denim jacket. This is from Primark. It's a UK brand, but it's amazing. They have one in Long Island. They're opening one up here in Jersey. At the American Dream Mall sometime, hopefully freaking soon, because I'm over going to the one in Long Island. But this is from the men's department, and it's their regular plain denim jacket. And I love this denim jacket. I got it in a medium, so it was a little bit more oversized on me. This is my favorite jacket. My literal favorite jacket. I cannot wait to wear this more. I'm going to do definitely another Canadian tuxedo, because I did one in the fall with a skirt and like my loft denim shirt. So I'm definitely going to do one. Now that it's cold, and put like a white turtleneck underneath this, some tall brown boots, like a light wash denim, denim pants, and yeah, this is my favorite jacket. And I think it was no more than like 20 bucks. They actually have Primark. If you can go to a Primark, they have amazing things, things that are on trend. And like their clothes are really good quality and cheap, so cheap. It's like Shein, but like the same, it's like Shein, like it's literally like Shein, but like a store. And I love it. I love it. Oh my God. My friend Destiny, shout out to Destiny because she told me about it and uh, that was it. I got everyone hooked on it. That was it. Okay. These two denim jackets are ones I found at the thrift store, I believe. Yeah. These were the thrifted finds. This is when I had a phase where I just like to uh, destroy everything, all of my clothes. So this one, actually, this one's not that destroyed. This one has stones and faux pearls on it. So this one isn't destroyed, but this one's cute. I do wear this one. This one has splatter paint for some reason, and it's all ripped up, which is also cool, but I'm just not into, like, this stuff anymore. I definitely do still get a lot of wear out of this. I don't wear this as much because it's just not my style anymore. My style changes all the time, so... Yeah, but these two I also did thrift and I hand painted the lovely crap out of these. And I also did the stones on this, which I do love. I do love this jacket. But this one's just not my style anymore. I don't wear like this kind of stuff. Okay, people, my last two coats. Two denim coats. And then I think that's it. I think we're finished after that. Woo, hallelujah. Okay, this one is from, let me put one down. This one's from H&M. H&M. Why do I keep getting H&M and the Forever 21 confused? When the tag is right here, people. Okay, this one is from Forever 21. It's a boyfriend style jacket and it has like little patchwork up on the top. And then the back is my favorite of all times. Because this is literally me. It says, do not disturb me. This is literally me. If I was a jacket, this would be me. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was, but I'm not. And then my last jacket is more of a cropped denim jacket like a shorter one which I do love it has a little bit of distress because I oh you know that was the phase where I had to distress things and I distressed it up here and I think a little bit on the sleeves I do love this jacket because it's great it's like a little bit shorter I can wear it with like a crop top and like jeans but I want to say I got this off Amazon and then I distressed it myself if I could find this exact jacket I will definitely link it below 
Um, and it's like that medium-ish wash denim, which I don't mind. I like it for more at the nighttime because then I can do black underneath and it looks nice. And also, I know I'm probably going to get questions about this. This clothing rack is from Ikea. It's literally $9.99. I really wish I was kidding. It doesn't have wheels like the other one, but it just it does the justice. And I wanted one that did have wheels for my coat, so it didn't like move around everywhere. But yeah, guys, this is my coat collection. I will link everything up below, as I said before. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you're going to be definitely seeing more of me in 2020. I hope everyone has an amazing week, and thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment below, and I'll see you guys soon.